Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So today I want to go over the Nax cards that are introduced in the first Nax Wing, uh, just so you guys can kind of get my impression. And I know this changes as more cards are being released, as people figure out how to use them and all that. But yeah, I made a video where I had my original opinion before I actually used any of the cards. And now I want to give you guys my opinion now that I have used actually all of the cards. And yeah, it's a little bit different, and uh, I do want to say that I have been quite thorough with these. I've made decks specifically to complement these cards. I've specifically chosen cards because they're new while playing Arena, and I feel that I can give you guys a fairly informed opinion. So let's get started. First card here, we got Poison Seeds, which is the Druid card released in the first week. Uh, this one destroys all the minions, and it summons two Tutriants uh, to replace each one. And I actually made uh, a deck specifically for this card and constructed it. It wasn't too terrible. It's basically Token Druid, and it uses this to deal with the big creatures, and it's not really much of a reset on the board for the Druid, because all your cards are kind of shitty anyway, and uh, you know if you're replacing a 3-3 with a 2-2, if you're a, you know, like a 2-1 loot hoarder with a 2-2 and you're drawing a card for it, it's, it's all fine. Uh, the idea of this card is that um, you specifically know when you trigger your death rattle, so there's a lot of combo stuff with the cards that are going to be released in the following weeks. A lot of them have really powerful death rattle effects, and for now, it's a little bit underpowered. I think in Constructed, you can certainly do without this card, and that's what we've been seeing. I don't think playing Constructed, I've seen this card a single time. However, in Arena, it's not too bad. As a Druid, if you're facing like you know a few Boulder Fist Ogres or some shit like that, and your board is clear, Poison Seeds does actually make it uh, kind of like a reset, but Arena is a lot more slow-paced, creatures are a lot bigger, and most of them don't have nasty death rattle effects on your opponent's side of the table at least. So, in Arena, it's okay and constructed. You guys can try if you want, but I think you're going to have to wait for some more cards to come out. The Rogue card, uh, and a Bar Ambusher. Uh, this card looks pretty good. If you're not playing many creatures, it probably is pretty good. If you're playing very combo-y decks, it probably is very good. I ended up uh, queuing against it and constructed and ended up actually dropping that game, but I don't think it had much to do with this card. This card is actually pretty terrible, uh, especially in the Arena, because in the Arena you run into a lot of mages, and mages pretty much always have one of their three or four fireballs on the fourth turn. So you play this, they fireball this, and whatever creature you had him play, which is usually not some crazy battle cry minion, it's usually like a fucking raptor or a fairy dragon, that gets bounced to your hand. So you lose the tempo completely, uh, you go one for one, and it just pretty much sucks. Haunted Creeper. Uh, this card did surprise me. I thought it was originally pretty terrible, but uh, if you add up all the numbers, it, as I said before, it was going to be quite good. But because it's one attack, doesn't seem very good. One attack creatures, one health creatures are generally just fodder and hurts them. But as it turns out, because Zoo is pretty damn powerful, Haunted Creeper does uh, work pretty well. It's a pretty sticky creature. It's hard to get rid of all the garbage that comes out of this one little minion. And the Death Rattle does synergize with Knife Juggler, which we've been seeing a little bit more of. You attack until the opponent spawns two creatures, you spawn two daggers, and you start juggling away. So this card's actually very, very good, and I do expect it to stay in the zoo and stay in the hunter decks that we've been seeing just a little bit of. Uh, Nerebar Weblord's been pretty good in Arena. In Arena, a lot of people play uh, like two kind of uh, like double effect cards. So a creature that does a battle cry. This is pretty much the most popular way to draft Arena. And yeah, in between those, you get like a Yeti or a Boulder Fist Ogre. But the majority of in Arena do have battle cries, and you can get some wins off this card. However, I don't recommend it in a class that can't deal one damage with their hero power because if you're playing, you know, something like a shaman. Uh, and they play a 3-2 and they're a mage, well, they kill that thing, and then they ping it down, and then, well, you're pretty screwed. In Constructed, uh, some people say it counters Zoo, but I am not so convinced. Uh, I've tried it a little bit, and yeah, you can't Flame Imp. Yeah, you can't do a few things. You can't even Doom Guard because you got to discard the cards, but usually it doesn't work so idealistically, and in Constructed, I feel this card is pretty terrible right now. And I think it may improve as... Uh, the meta kind of goes into more silency type of thing with more battle cries like Kodos and all the rest. But for now, it's pretty weak. 
The egg, we've been seeing this in pretty much every deck. I've been running this in Arena, and man, this egg is fucking nuts. Um, in Constructed, even though it's kind of a sh shitty creature, if you're playing like against the Shaman and you're playing Zoo, you just leave it up at the end. So when he does do a Lightning Storm, you have a fresh 4-4 creature to pound his face in. And uh, in Arena, uh, again, because a lot of people use Battle Cry means, a lot of people use like Dark Iron Dwarf, that kind of stuff, you usually get a chance to proc it. And if you really have to, if you're playing, I don't know, something like... Uh, Stormpike Commando, you can just ping it off yourself. So, in Arena, I haven't been disappointed at all. In Constructed, it's crazy. And uh, I think we'll be seeing a lot of this card, especially in the zoo that does seem to be pretty dominant at this time. Mike's not the spider. Uh, yeah, it's pretty garbage. Uh, especially because people are going to start to run Kodos as more cards are being released. Especially the Silence and all the rest. Uh, being a 6 drop and being so vulnerable to just about everything, uh, this card is just straight up terrible. Uh, I think my Exla will probably never be played in Constructed. And in Arena, yeah. I mean, sometimes you get Lore Walker, Cho, and Tink Master over Spark and my Exla, and then you're like, whoa, whoa, that's not too bad. But in general, uh, it's kind of a piece of crap because it's just far too vulnerable. Overall, Cards are awesome. I'll do another review of the next few weeks when I get a chance because there's you know the time where I'm on a little bit of break, but I'm loving it. Hope you guys enjoy the cards. Hope you guys like my review, and I'll see you guys later.